Nicholas? Nicholas? Good morning. Hey. What's this? <laughs> well, I wanted to celebrate our first morning together. Again. Aww. With breakfast in bed. That's so sweet. And then... I found out that you're the same lying bitch you've always been. Nicholas, what are you doing? I, I'm playing the fool, apparently. I can't believe, I can't believe that I swallowed your lies again. Please calm down. No! Are you talking Don't you dare. I was on my way back from the, from the kitchen and I overheard Spencer with his little friend Jocelyn. As it turns out, his whole plan to run away was actually your idea. So you can manipulate me into taking you back so you can be there by my side, supporting me, making me feel vulnerable enough so you can swoop right in again. Was that your whole plan? Don't touch me. Don't. There is nothing to explain. What are you gonna, what are you gonna explain? How you, how you use my son? How you let me go out of my mind for days? It was never supposed to go on that long. I, I, I promise. I, I, after Spencer left the Metro Court, I didn't know where he was. I would have brought him back That's sooner. Not oh my God, even better, Britt. My son was out there alone and you didn't do anything. My God, he's nine years old. Nine years old. What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm calling the police and having you thrown in jail. Please don't, don't call the cops. Please hang up and let me explain. Yes, uh, send someone over to Windermere on Spoon Island. There's an intruder on the property. Thank you. An intruder? How could you? Excuse me? How could I? How could you? Everything, once again, everything about us is built on a lie. Nicholas, I was desperate, okay? I didn't want to lose you. You're the first man that's ever seen any good in me. You made me want to be a better person. I needed you to forgive me and give me a second chance, and you wouldn't do that. So you prove yourself by by letting me think something horrible happened to my son? Are you kidding me? I will never forgive you for that. The police will be here any moment. Don't you need to think about me. You understand me? I'm not running. I'm not going anywhere until I make you understand. Understand what? There's, there's nothing to understand. I thought you had changed. I, I, I honestly thought you had changed. But... You literally are incapable of honesty. I let, I let you worm yourself back into my life and ruin the one good thing I had going for me. Because of you, I let the woman I was supposed to be with get away. Because of you, I lost my chance with Elizabeth. <laughs> I made a mistake, I'm, I know. Okay, but last night proved that we still have something. We can get through this, can't we? We've been no. through too much to just walk away. You're right about that. We have been through too much, and I am exhausted. It's time I finally put an end to this. <laughs> Mr. Castine, is this a woman who was involved in your son's disappearance? Yes, she orchestrated the entire thing. Please. And I'm pressing charges. Take her down to the station. Nicholas, please don't. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Nicholas, please, I love you. Come on, lady, let's go. You know, I love you. You don't love me. You can't love anyone. Come on. And I don't love you. I don't love you. I'm sorry. I don't love you, Britt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. Yeah. It's just a dream. Pretty nasty man with that. It's all right. You're all right. Wanna tell me what was it about? I thought I lost you. Oh, baby, I'm not going Hello? Yes, uh, Dr. Westmore, this is this is Morgan Corinthos. Carly's son? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm calling about one of your patients. Ava Jerome. Yeah, she's missed a few appointments. I've been worried about her. Is everything okay? No, it's really not. Okay, how, how is Ava right now? Uh, uh, no, she, not, not good. She can't even stand. She, this isn't like the other time. She's in a lot more pain. And then I fed a pee and then I saw on her chart it, it isn't working? Uh, no. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it's making her worse. Oh, I don't feel comfortable doing that unless I examine her myself. I need you to bring her into General Hospital. <laughs> Do 
Do not be creepy. As much as I'm going to miss our wine and DVR nights, I'm glad to see things are working out for you and the prince. You're living the dream. Yeah. If only I could shake my nightmares of losing everything. Hey. 